Today we are talking about the updates to the Pinterest Ads Manager for 2021. There were quite a few new updates released in the last month and a half. Date of recording this is right around middle of February. And in the last six weeks, we have seen new conversion events, data, table. It's now in graph format and it looks a lot like Facebook ads. We now have a new conversion budget optimization releasing for traffic or consideration campaigns. We also have a new way to implement conversion tags. So you can't actually find those in your pixel manager anymore. They are now linked outside of that. And then just the dashboard to actually build your ads in the ads manager is different. So we're going to get into all of that today. I'm going to show you all of that information except for the conversion events info because I literally just found that last night and I recorded the tutorial for this video a few days ago. So let's just hop on into the computer and let me show you the new updates and I'm actually going to walk you through setting up a conversion campaign of mine as well as a traffic retargeting campaign as well. So let's dive right on in and I'll see you on the other side. In this tutorial, I'm showing you the new inner workings of your Pinterest ads manager. And I'm actually going to be setting up an ad for myself through this process. So let's just dive in. So this is my business hub. You probably recognize this. I do not suggest measuring your ad results from this tab. I don't like this tab. So make sure you click into reporting if you're looking to measure your ad results. Okay, so in here is where you will find the ad results. Now there's nothing new in here. Everything new is under the create ad tab and there is a new uh, conversions look. So let's actually hop in there really quick. Inside your conversions, that's where you find your pixels and event codes. Um, there is a new look in here and they have all of uh, your event history in a graph and they tell you like hourly breakdown and you get a three day, seven day, 14 day, 30 day, and a custom. So you can actually choose a date range to find out when you your pixels are firing and how many event codes are firing and things like that. And then of course you can find your um, event codes and base codes and everything in there. So that's the new conversions tab. And let's actually just hop in to create an ad because I want you to see what this looks like. So in here we have consideration, which is formerly traffic. Um, it's basically just a traffic campaign. Nothing about the strategy has changed. They just changed the name and the billing. So inside of your consideration campaigns, it is now going to be going towards a campaign budget optimization strategy. Now you'll see right here in this video, it says in testing by March of 2021, possibly by the time this video actually publishes, um, this is going to be forced on every ad account for traffic. So that is your new testing inside of the traffic campaign. Now the builder looks the same on all ads that you're building. So we're going to hop over and actually build a conversion campaign. There's no, it looks the same except for just your billing on traffic is going to be different. So we're going to name this. And I never set a daily or lifetime spend limit because I feel like that restricts the algorithm in delivering. And especially since the algorithm on Pinterest is so touchy, I just don't like doing that. So we're going to set up uh, just one ad group for now. Uh, so I like to name my ad groups based on whatever my targeting is. So you'll see if I did warm traffic, um, 45 days, this is going to be cold. We're going to do broad keywords and interests. And then this is where it looks new. You have a new guided targeted uh, targeting builder essentially. So they're telling you if you want to reconnect with new user or reconnect with users, you can retarget people who've already interacted with your brand. If you click details, it'll tell you demographics, ad placement, audience lists are optional, but they're telling you like, these are the people we think that you should use in connecting here. 
if you're using customer list engagement, site visitors, or dynamic retargeting. So you could select that, and then it'll pop you down to um, the audience lists where you can use lists. And if you click this open, it'll pull open your audience lists, and you can it automatically has site visitors checked, and you can pull open those site visitors um, lists that you have set up. Now this is not a retargeting campaign. So I'm gonna go back to targeting strategy and I'm gonna click find new customers. Click that and it's gonna make, make me reset. And then I don't wanna use an act alike audience because I don't feel like I have enough a big enough seed audience to make an effective act alike. Act alike. So what I'm gonna do is skip on down past the audience list and I'm going to enable keywords and interests. Now right here you can use the expanded targeting based on your pin. Now, if you're using expanded targeting, know that your relevancy on the pin itself, the image, the text overlay, the pin title, the pin description, all of that stuff needs to be really, really honed in for the platform to use expanded targeting effectively for your campaign. Now, I personally always use expanded targeting checked and use it as an optimization strategy later. But in this case, because I know um, you know, I, I don't really know that I'm gonna be running this campaign for very long, it's a test. I'm gonna turn that off because it could impact my billing cost. Now, my interests are going to be based off of my Pinterest insights. So I'm gonna hop over to my insights on Pinterest. I'm gonna go to analytics, audience insights. I'm gonna use engaged audience for the last 30 days. And then these are the affinities that my audience is more likely to be attracted to. So I'm gonna use finance, I'm gonna use these these five. Actually, I'm not gonna use sport, <laughs> just gonna use these four. Um, finance, quotes, so finance, quotes, health and education, Probably electronics would pro would would be good as well for me, but um, it's not showing a high affinity for that. It's showing a lower affinity for it. So I'm gonna leave that one on. Now, if you wanted to take a look at this, just to see kind of who your people are, your analytics, uh, your audience insights will tell you age, gender, um, most locations that people engage with you and the devices that they use. Um, I'm not going to use this information to restrict my targeting really at all. I really want this campaign to be broad and have a few keywords to support it um, and let the algorithm find my people. I don't want to restrict it too much. So that's the strategy, right? We want to kind of go broad in the beginning and then optimize and, and filter down as much as possible once we start getting conversions. So my daily budget is gonna be $20 a day. And it'll tell you, you'll spend no more than $150 weekly until this ad is paused or archived. And then I want to optimize for signups because I'm running an ad to an opt-in. So I want to optimize for signups. Now your pins, this does look a little bit new compared to yesterday when I was looking at it. So this is new, which is fine. But I, I wanna hop in here and I wanna find the pins that I created for this campaign. So I'm gonna use three, three pins, kind of look different. So I've got five steps to a Pinterest strategy, sick and tired of social media, and the ultimate profitable Pinterest strategy. Use those three, and once you have selected your pins, down here, this little thing, kind of hard to see, you click that, it says review select pins, and it'll show you the pin that you are choosing. You can name them here if you would like to. Um, and then make sure that your URL is going to the right place. So I wanna hop over here to my uh, spreadsheet and I just wanna make sure that my URL is correct. Pinterest strategy guide, Pinterest strategy guide. And now I've added my pins. Now, I just realized that I forgot to add keywords. You do that up here next to add interests, you're gonna add keywords. You can still search for keywords in here, so if you wanted to do like promoted pins, you could see like how to make pins, ideas for pins, um, business, my pins. Like this doesn't really, this doesn't do anything for me. 
So what I'm gonna do is actually put my keyword research in this box that I have already done. And I'm gonna do that in a little bit. Paste your keywords in here. Uh, so like if we wanted to do like business marketing, this is where all of those keywords would go and this is what it would look like, okay? So I'm going to add those keywords in and we'll come back. Now, I've got my keywords added in. We're actually ready to launch this campaign. So I'm just gonna review it one more time. We have our ad group strategy enabled. We're doing uh, keywords and interests. I've got my four interests selected and I have my keywords in my list. Um, and if you kind of shrink this down, it'll tell you. You've got 62 keywords, four interests, and expanded targeting is off. I'm leaving this open, all genders, all ages, all US, all languages and all devices. And then I'm going to do browse and search because this is an interest and a keyword campaign. And then I have a daily budget of $20 running continuously until I turn it off. My optimization strategy is signups. My bidding is automatic. And these are the pins that I have selected. So that is my conversion campaign. Now let's hop over and um, draft a traffic campaign and I will show you kind of the difference that that looks like in in the ads builder. So we have, we're going to create a retargeting campaign. I'm going to create it and it's going to be a draft for now because I don't want to turn this on until I actually have traffic pushing to my site that I can retarget. So this is going to be a February retargeting. I'm going to start it off as paused. We're going to do campaign budget optimization at $5 a day. Run continuously, continue. So that's literally the only difference. Except, well, obviously there's no budgeting in this side of it now. So this is just gonna be website, visitors 30 days, and we're gonna reconnect with users that we've already um, engaged with. So we have website visitors, and I'm gonna select that one, and I'm gonna include it, but really quick, I wanna pop over and just make sure that that is actually what I want. I like to make sure. So it said it was created two years ago on so many audiences from tutorials. Uh, website visitors is around 2K. And I just wanna make sure, see this is 120 days. I don't want 120 days. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do visitors who went to your site Website visitors, 30 days. Pinterest tag, 30 days. Select the tag, create. Now I'm gonna hop back over to my ads and I'm going to remove this and add the new one that I just created. Which I may need to refresh my screen. Okay, so I've refreshed. Let's hop back into audiences. Website visitors. Thirty days. See, it's initializing. We're gonna select it. It's gonna tell you. It won't start spending because this audience isn't active, right? We're gonna click add. This is gonna be in a paused state anyway, so it's totally fine. We are not going to put anything in for keywords, interests, ad placement, gender, demographic, nothing. We're leaving it all open that's the point of a retargeting campaign. Um, it's only retargeting the people who went to your site. Automatic bidding, and then we have to add some pins. So I actually haven't created any pins for the retargeting campaign because I don't know which pin is going to perform in my conversion campaign just yet. So what we can do is we can just select a pin for now, and then we can come back and edit this later. So I've made a bunch of different pins for this so what we can do is just select this one that I didn't choose in my, my conversion campaign to begin with, and we'll just use it for now. It's gonna go back to the strategy guide. Depending on how my ad performs at the conversion level, I may actually send them to a different place in the retargeting campaign. I might send them to my Tripwire product, which is, you know, what I want them to ultimately buy because I want them to, I want the tripwire product to pay for my ad spend. And then behind that, I have a Pinterest course that I sell at a higher price, which will bring the profit into the campaign. So I don't know what this strategy is gonna look like just 
just yet, but that's fine because this is going to be in a pause state and I have time to actually edit this later. But I wanted you to be able to see how I set the traffic campaign up for retargeting um, and just what the new updates for the traffic campaign look like. So we're going to click launch and it's going to take us to our dashboard. You can see all the statuses are selected and we only want last seven days and then we want consideration and conversions to show. So we have um, a retargeting campaign here is paused and we have the Pinterest strategy guide and the retargeting traffic campaign. So this is the one we actually want to look at. So not started and completed. We'll turn those off. So that one's on. You can see at the uh, ad group level, it's on. And then on the ad level, these are pending because my campaign has to be reviewed. So that's it for now. If you liked this, make sure you let me know if you have any questions and how your campaigns are doing. That was a lot and they are constantly releasing new updates. So as I get time and the opportunity to film the new updates, I will make sure to film them for you because this platform is rapidly changing and welcoming new advertisers with open arms. So if you are actively marketing on Facebook or YouTube or Google, and you're looking for a way to diversify your ad platforms and your ad dollars, Pinterest ads is definitely a place you should consider. Do some audience testing, do some market research on the platform to see if your audience and your offer are valid, and then come back and use these tutorials that I have linked for your Pinterest ads marketing. Now, those videos that I'm linking in this playlist are definitely older now. They are outdated as one would say, but the strategy in the videos are not outdated. The actual ads strategy of implementing is not outdated. So I walk you through how to set up campaigns in those videos, but there's a lot of information in them that I actually uh, think is still relevant, like bidding and all of that stuff. So go on over, watch those videos. And if you have any questions as far as promoted pins or specific content you would like to see, please let me know in the comments down below because I'd be happy to get an update filmed for that or just a new video in general if it's new. Thank you so much for tuning in to another week and I will see you next time.